Hi guys, it's me again, Dynaman. Um, I've come up with another little mod for you guys. Um, I don't know if this will help you out, but I know a lot of you like your cases black on the inside now. When you put your DVD writer in or your Blu-ray drive in, you notice they're always grey when you put them in at the back. Now, I was thinking, it's a five and a half inch bay they go into, so what you do is, you get one of these drive bay covers which you've took off originally and what you do is you uh, cut a notch in it like that sorry, a notch in it like that so that you can plug in your um, power and your um, connection, your SATA connection so that's what I did, I cut a slot in it like that and I stuck it onto the back of the drive the CD-ROM drive with a bit of um, electric tape well, I'd recommend you use something like this um, it's not shiny, it's got a matte finish to it it's electrical tape and that's what I used put some along the edge here some along there and I stuck it on the bottom and I put a bit on the top as well on the top here and stuck it to the back of the, the drive but you've got to remember when you take your drive out you've got to take this plate off otherwise it won't come out so what you do is you need an axle a pair of pliers and what you do is you um, get your hacksaw, you cut that way first and that way, you measure obviously your distance between here and your connections and then you measure the top of the connection and don't forget that your connectors will be slightly wider than this than the slot what's on your back of your DVD drive or Blu-ray drive so just go a bit further than that cut your notch that way with an axaw first and then get a Stanley knife and score it across the and then once you've scored it you get a pair of pliers and you do that and it will snap off eventually if you move it up and up, up and down the uh, piece of plastic it will eventually snap off um, that's, that's what I did anyway I'll just show you I've done it inside you can see there that's the back of the drive I've covered it with a drive bay cover on the back so it doesn't stand out as much in case so there you go another little mod of mine uh, you guys want to try it out um, what you could do is get a piece of white paper get a piece of white paper like this like printer paper printer paper and what you do is get your back plate you, you plate what you took off um, you cover what you took off the drive bay uh, draw around it like that so you draw around it like that you draw around it so you've got that on the paper now what you do with that is you put all your measurements onto this because it's hard work working with a black Thing to know where the marks are so what you can do is cut this out first off take your measurements of um, so if that's the back of your DVD drive a blu-ray drive you measure that and there to there 
and then there to there. So you measure them, and then you measure your height. Measure your height, which is that height there, from there to there. You want that measurement, and then you want the uh, you can measure that bit as well if you want. Measure that bit as well, so you can get that distance there. So you cut them first with your axaw and then you get a Stanley knife and mark it across this line here that one there, mark it across there score it onto the plastic and take your white sheet off don't forget though to cut your um, cut these first that one and that one cut them with a hacksaw to the depth of this whatever it measures on your DVD drive but make sure you go a slight bit over that measurement so that you can allow for the connectors what have to go in so it might be slightly higher up so you might have to come you know a bit further up like that you come a bit further in from there and then go across You'll have um, enough room then to put your connectors in. Get some black tape and put it onto this edge. Tape this onto the back of the drive, and then it makes it easier for you once you've got all your measurements to cut your lines. Then cut, cut you know, your depth first, and then cut across the standing half afterwards uh, to score it, so it's easier to snap off. It's only plastic. Once you put your pliers onto that, you wiggle it in and out, and it will just snap off that piece. And you're left with something like that, with a chunk chunk out of it here. And once you've got that bit cut out, then you mount it. Put a bit of pla um, put a bit of electric tape across that part there, and then across the bottom. And then stick it to the back of your drive. Just another little mod of mine. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye. Uh, also, please subscribe to my channel and give me comments, please. Thank you. Bye.